Alright, what is going on everybody, it's John here, and I'm back with another Mother Warfare commentary, and today I am going to be giving you guys my honest review of Season 2 in Modern Warfare. You know guys, I still find it crazy knowing that Season 2 is already coming to an end. <laughs> I mean, as of recording this video, we have two days left in Season 2, and by the time I upload it, we're gonna be on the last day of Season 2 before we officially move on to Season 3. And of course, I couldn't think of a better day to make an honest review on Season 2 and obviously I'm doing it on like the last two days of it and I'm not exactly sure yet if Infinity Ward has any plans to extend season 2 and maybe delay season 3 for a couple more days because they did that back in season 1 and I'm not exactly sure why they did that back in season 1 uh, maybe they just weren't finished with uh, season 2 at the time but this time around I'm wondering because with all the things going on around in the world with everybody being quarantined right now I'm sure that all Infinity Ward um, developers are currently working from home and it may not feel the same, some may not even have the proper tools needed to, right. you know, make some all of these right. updates no or some of the new content, so I'm not exactly sure if they will be extending it, but I hope they don't. <laughs> I mean, if they do, it's understandable, I'm not gonna complain at all because, again, it's understandable, but I say I hope they don't because I just cannot wait to see what new content will be coming for Season 3 because Season 2? Well, let me just get started right now. Right off the back, Season 2 was way better than Season 1 and Season 0 in terms of content in the Battle Pass. I just feel that all of the new outfits we got this time around were way better and <laughs> operators as well. Like, I think we got Mace? I'm not exactly sure if he was from Season 1, but I'm guessing he was from Season 2 maybe. And Talon, I know he's from Season 2. Uh, and Ghost, of course. Ghost, I just, wow, it was a moment of hype right there when we all heard that uh, Ghost was making a return for season 2 and the outfits for Ghost as well are pretty sick I mean <laughs> especially that tier 100 reward the ghosted skin for Ghost yeah that one is pretty sick and not only the outfits and operators were way better but also the other rewards such as blueprints the blueprints this time around were way better looking and there, I think there were more legendaries this time around as well. We had uh, more ways to earn COD points, obviously by grinding through the battle pass. Like um, every 10 tiers, every 20 tiers, you would get 100 COD points, which was very good. Um, you would also have more double XP tokens, double weapon XP tokens, and all that kind of stuff. Even the stickers, the spray cans, the emblems, the calling cards. <laughs> all that was a lot better than Season 1 and Season 2, oh, or Season 0. The new maps that we also got, which were Rust, Atlas Superstore, and Condor Hideout, were also pretty good. The only map that I don't really think was as great as Rust or uh, Condor Hideout was for sure Atlas oh, Superstore. No, 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 no. <laughs> AKA Home Depot. I mean, I don't know guys, the map, okay, the map could be good in 10v10. Maybe in 10v10 it is an okay map, but in 6v6, oh my goodness guys, this map right here, I just, I want to see who can get any uh, gameplay that reaches the score limit, not the time limit, because 6v6, oh my goodness guys, it's like, it's horrible. But 10v10, I will admit it is kind of fun, but at the same time, I don't really like the map that much because of how many areas there are to camp and many corners, many, I guess, a couple safe spaces, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's just, yeah, the map is just way too big and I don't really like it. However, Rust. Rust is a really good map, obviously, and it's from MW2. We all loved it back then and we still do now, but my only issue with the new Rust here on Modern Warfare are the spawns. The new spawn system, I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know why every time we get, like, a new remastered map, the spawns are always bad now, but... The spawns are just terrible, man. <laughs> I feel like you spawn in front of people way too many times after you just finish dying. I mean, you die, you spawn right, right in front of an enemy, then you die. Spawn right in front of an enemy, die, repeat. And then, if you're lucky, you won't spawn in front of them and you'll be right outside of your team or something. That's one thing that Atlas Superstore did better than Rust. And I just, I cannot believe I'm admitting this, man. <laughs> the spawns are way better on Atlas Superstore than Rust. And, of course, maybe because the map is way bigger, but it just is. And the third new map that we got was Condor Hideout, and this map is actually pretty good. I don't know, a lot of people have mixed feelings about it, some people think that the map is not that great, some people hate it, some people love it, but again, personally, I actually like the map, it's pretty good. I dropped the Juggernaut on there in case you guys didn't see that gameplay, it was a pretty sick one. <laughs> and yeah, just that map is really good to me. It's way better than Atlas Superstar, I'll tell you that. And Rust, I don't know if I want to say that just yet. 
but the spawns are way better on that map than Rust for sure. I hope that in the future, Infinity Ward continues to bring a bunch of 6v6 maps that are as big as Condor Hideout, Rust, or Shipment, or not Shipment, but mainly Shoe House. Shoe House is still one of my favorite maps of all time, but obviously that came in Season 1, not Season 2, so can't really say that much about it, but still, I just hope that Infinity Ward continues bringing new maps like that because these are the types of maps that many people want, not the Atlas Superstore type maps. <laughs> no thank you. And Ground War, I think, uh, I forgot exactly what new map we got, I think it was Boneyard. I have not played it at all. I, I've only played it in the Warzone, which we'll talk about that a little bit more uh, later in this video, but Boneyard, I'm guessing that's a good map based off of, um, of what it looks like in uh, Warzone. And there's another new map that we got for Gunfight, I think uh, I think it was Bizarre something? I, I don't really remember what the name of it was, but that Gunfight map is also pretty cool, I like it. Moving on to the new weapons, which we got two new weapons, and of course they were all free, and I'm really happy that Infinity Ward is continuing to give us all new weapons, all new stat changing weapons for free, because of course, if they become pay to win and we have to, you know, like spend 2400 cop points for a new weapon, then that's obviously going to become a problem for not just me, but for everybody. But the new weapons, which were the Grout 5.56 and the Striker 45, these weapons were pretty good. The Grout 5.56 was really good. And the Striker 45, which is basically the UMP 45 from Mother Warfare 2, is of course another great weapon with attachments. <laughs> Without attachments, I will admit, these weapons, oh yeah, I don't really like them that much. But with them, then it's way better. Other new additions like Spec Ops new missions, I just don't really have anything to say about that because as you guys may know already, I have not played Spec Ops at all the whole entire year. The only mode I played in Spec Ops is Survival with my cousin and it was pretty fun, but missions and all that, no. I have not tried them and I have not honestly been thinking about trying them in the near future at all because of Warzone. <laughs> and Trials, I mean, that's another thing we got for Season 2. Every season we've been getting like at least two to four new trials which is pretty sick man I, I like the trials because one you get a ton of xp after you complete them or if you get the three stars and two they're pretty interesting every time we get a new trial like for example this time around we got quad race which you basically have to um finish uh like two to three laps around a certain map in a certain time to get three stars and other missions like that you know these are pretty cool missions and i'm just looking forward to more and more every season overall guys season two for multiplayer was a lot better than season one and season zero like i said and the gameplay like i said guys recently i've been having a little bit more of an enjoyable time on multiplayer like since season two began i'm not gonna lie it's been more enjoyable and i don't know exactly what it is i don't know if it's because i already got platinum on my assault rifles and i'm already getting gold on some of my smgs that quick <laughs> Or maybe because I'm playing with more friends this time around on MP. I don't know, guys, but MP has just been a lot more fun recently. And, of course, like I said, that's with friends. I still cannot play the multiplayer just by myself because, I don't know, guys. It's just something about that uh, being a solo player on this game. It's just, oh, man, it can be very stressful. Something I also did this season that I never thought I would do in any other season in the future or I never did in Season 1 and Season 0 was buy my first item in the store. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie guys, I did see a couple nice items like the uh, that one anime skin or anime camel for the Odin, a uh, really sick looking gold uh, camel for or gold blueprint for the AK-47, I think it's called the Golden Dragon or something like that. You know, other weapons like that, I think I also got like another bubblegum type camel for the AK-47. I just, I've seen many great things in the store this time around and I finally decided to purchase them and yeah guys, I know. I. I thought I was never going to purchase anything on this game, but I mean, I guess I'm enjoying it a little bit more now, especially MP, so yeah, I decided to. By the way guys, I forgot to mention this, but I actually reached tier 100 this time around for the season, and <laughs> I'm pretty amazed at that because I, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think I've ever reached tier 100 in any season for Modern Warfare. Not season 0, not season 1, but season 2? I don't know guys, like I said, the rewards were way better this time around, and I actually felt like, oh yeah, this time I want to actually reach tier 100 because we also got something new for tier 100. Not only did you just get one reward, but you would also get four other rewards if I'm not mistaken. You would get the ghosted skin, you would get a blueprint for, I think it was a striker 45, 
you would also get a pretty sick looking emblem and calling card along with I forgot what the other item was but all I'm saying was you would get basically I think it was four or five items for reaching tier 100 so it was pretty cool man I like that I hope they continue doing that for other seasons as well but I don't know guys I feel that part of that is probably because we have a lot of time now or at least I do I mean <laughs> I'm able to now get on and play till midnight on a school night because of what's currently going on right now we don't have to wake up early anymore for school at least I don't so yeah guys I've had more time to play and maybe that's why I made it a tier 100 but at the same time I feel like I was already playing um model warfare a little bit more than i was before now finally the best addition to me for season two was for sure without a doubt the addition of warzone <laughs> honestly guys i did not think that it would come in the middle of season two i mean more than anything i thought it was going to come at the beginning of season two or at the beginning of season three because i mean i just i didn't think a battle royale would drop in the middle of a season but it happened and you know what guys i'm happy that it did i just wow guys warzone is amazing i've already said way too many great things about warzone in my warzone review video and in like another video but i'll paraphrase it all just in one sentence warzone is amazing and i just cannot wait to get back on it once i'm done <laughs> recording this video but like i said guys i'm still playing mp because i've been finding it more enjoyable recently and I think I might actually be able to get the masses this year. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Now that I have more time, I might actually be able to do it because <laughs> I find it impressive knowing that I actually completed one SMG or got it ready for gold in two to three days. It was pretty quick, so I might be able to do it, guys. Once I get, you know, the SMGs and I really got the assault rifles over with, but once I get the SMGs over with as well, it should be a piece of cake to get the shotguns, the LMGs, the snipers, the launchers, the pistols, all that out of the way. And I cannot wait, guys. I cannot wait. If I actually do get uh, Damascus this year, that would be pretty impressive and surprising because I was not expecting that. And I don't know. We'll see. I don't exactly remember all of the new playlists that were introduced during uh, Season 2, but I just wish that they would stop removing the Shoe House 24-7 playlist, the Shipment 24-7 playlist, or Shoot the Ship playlist, uh, the Shoe House and Shipment 24-7 playlist, the Rust, Shoe House, Condor Hideout, and Shoe House 24-7. You know, all those playlists where we basically have the best maps in the game all in one playlist only. I wish they would stop removing that, but I don't know, guys. I guess every week we get a new playlist or quantum a new playlist where it's only gonna be these two maps maybe three in one playlist so I don't know but I just oh my goodness guys those right there are the best maps to me and every time I see them I just get hyped and I obviously obviously just play in there in conclusion my final rating for season two would for sure be like an eight out of ten and I don't remember what I gave season one but it was for sure lower than eight <laughs> it was probably like a five or six because again Season 1 and even Season 0, oh, those seasons weren't as interesting as Season 2 in my opinion. And this time around, it was just amazing, man. And I just hope oh! that they add quads and duels to hey, Warzone for Season 3 because, oh my goodness, side. guys. That would for sure, I would have for sure bumped it up to like a 9 or even a 10 out of 10 if that was the case because... Hey, this season, way better, and I hope they get even better and better um, as we get more and more seasons. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much all I wanted to say. That's my honest review and final rating for season two. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed, and subscribe if you have it. And then turn on post notifications. You guys are alerted every single time I upload. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about season two compared to like season one and zero. Did you guys think it was way better than those two seasons? Worse, the same, anything? Let me know. Again, I thought it was way better and this is why I cannot wait for season 3 already. I want to see when Infinity War is cooking up this time around for multiplayer and mainly Warzone or both actually like I said both are right now feeling pretty good for me so <laughs> I cannot wait but anyways guys I'm gonna go back on the grind so thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't done it make sure to drop a like and hope you guys have a nice and wonderful Monday and with all that being said it's been John ready to get back on the grind and waiting for season 3 and more content to come and I'm out. Peace. Bye.